2,300 years ago, long before Islam, Arabs discovered that forcing people to cover their nose and mouths broke their will and individuality and depersonalized them. It made them submissive. That's why they imposed on every woman the mandatory use of a fabric over her face. Then Islam turned it into the woman's symbol of submission to Allah, the man owner of the harem and the king. Modern psychology explains it. Without a face, we don't exist as independent beings. The child looks in a mirror between the ages of two and three and then discovers they are an independent being. The mask is just the beginning of deleting individuality. And it is not just women who are oppressed by the mask. It is used against children as well. It can take only a couple of minutes for a child abductor to transform and hide your child. You wouldn't even recognize your own child and you would be searching for the face of your missing child in a sea of masks. Not only is the mask used to oppress, it is used to install fear. It has turned fear into a virtue, and it makes those who are afraid believe that they are better people than those who aren't. Its true purpose is to silence you.